Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Uh, I, this, this is an untypical Post to Post video because we're talking about a play that happened in a league that's not the NHL. In fact, it's not even in North America. It's the EIHL, and this is uh, gaining huge views and attention out of out of uh, the UK and, and Europe. Uh, <clears throat> it's it was the hit from behind, and then another hit from behind, and we'll get into it. Mm -hmm. But I thought I'd wear my international gear here. We just got this jersey from Alan uh, in, Scotland. in Scotland. So he's saying he actually sent this jersey, and that mail time video will be coming out soon. And I'm going to wear my SHL hat with it. So uh, supporting other leagues here in this video and. I, I, I don't want to use the word bombarded because that has a negative tone to it, but I was bombarded on on Twitter from a whole bunch of people in the UK who wanted me to talk about this. Uh, and wow, they were really? bombarded in a good way. They were really <clears throat> yeah. passionate and it was exciting. Uh, so it was, it was cool to hear from them. And they requested that we talk about this. So let's Amen. do it. We've done some research. We have our opinions. We have not discussed this we haven't. Um, off camera. We're going to get into it right now. He's probably wrong. You think I'm wrong? I think you're wrong. You're usually wrong. So. Hey. <laughs> so the, the game was between the Belfast Giants and the Sheffield Steelers. And I think this was a couple nights ago. Sunday. Sunday Sun, night. Yeah, Sun, yeah, Sunday night. So it involved two players by the names of uh, Gulakis and Freder, Yep. I think. Yep. And Gulakis plays for the Giants and Freder plays for the Steelers. Steelers. Yep. And there were some suspensions handed out. And we're going to show behind us. We can't show the video because I don't. I don't want to get in copyright trouble. We'll, we'll show pictures of what happened. And hit number one came along the boards um, by Gulakis onto Freder, and it was a hit from behind along yeah. the boards. And, and, and you can see him just in front of the players' bench. Like you'll see some uh, players in the photo, but yeah, hopefully just, they're not right behind us. I'll lean over this way. Just, <laughs> just in front of the players' bench, and yeah. he is getting a hit from behind. He is. He does have the puck. He is playing the puck, but it is an illegal check. Even in the NHL rules, this would yep. be an illegal check. Uh, I'm not sure what the penalty would be. Probably five for boarding, maybe, or... Yeah, I don't know if there's much contact into the boards from that or whether it was just a hit along the boards. Yeah, he, um, he has some distance between him and the boards, so yeah. I thought... It it's at be. least a minor uh, and yeah. could be a, a major or a double minor. Could be. Yeah, in the NHL. So he actually got... a. Uh, in a game for that because ruled 123 states let me get this here um, ruled, ruled 123 checking from behind the definition definition is a player who delivers a check to a vulnerable <laughs> player who is not aware of the impending hit or who's unable to protect or defend himself from such a hit the point of contact is the back of the body uh, so as you can see in this in this in this play this was checking from behind so that Mm -hmm. That was a call, five in a game, That's I'm okay with that call. Yeah. And he also received um, a kicking penalty, or he got a match for kicking, a match game for, for kicking. Rule 152, and you can see the image behind us there. Um, so rule 152 is uh, a player who generates a, generates a kicking motion with a skate directed at any part of an opponent's body. So if you, this, the picture behind us kind of looks worse than the actual video itself. Mm -hmm. um, in my opinion, I don't think he was trying to kick him. He was just trying to prevent him, the other guy, from coming on top of him. Uh, but we'll yeah. get to how he got there in a second. Now, if you move on to uh, Freder, he got a match for charging. And we'll see that picture behind us because he retaliated and went all the way across the ice and checked Gul Gulakis from behind. Uh, and that's rule 122, this match one. Mm -hmm. And that reads uh, a player who after skating towards an opponent checks him with unnecessary force or who runs at or jumps onto an opponent so we got an automatic game for that uh, no appeal and i think the kicking is an auto one game with no appeal as well so they each got one game for for those actions mm -hmm. and then the uh, the, the the Department of Player Safety, or whatever they want to call it in that league, yes. uh, yeah, Department of Player DOPS, Safety, yeah. gave an additional two games <laughs> to Galakis for they didn't really say in their in their video. So I don't I I wasn't sure if he had a prior history as far as penalties and stuff, or mm -hmm. what the why he got an extra two games. But okay, he did give a he did deliver a check from behind, which started this whole thing. Uh, it was it was dirty, so. It sucks to see that, and uh, I'm glad that he did get suspended one game because, or I guess he wasn't suspended one game for that, but 
uh, I think he the one game suspension is is fine for a check from behind like that because you want to get that stuff yeah. out of out of the league. And as I saw it, and we can't show the video, but as I saw it happening, I watched the video many times. It's been copied everywhere. Um, it looks like Freder is, you know, trying to play the puck. He's just along the boards. He might yep. even be backing up a little bit when Galakis goes into him from behind. So yep. it definitely is a check from behind. It's, one, it's something that could have been and should have been avoided, and it is a penalty. But it wasn't... V vi I've seen way worse. I guess I'll just put it that way. Mm. And Freder did go forward and go down. I don't. He didn't go down prostrate on the ice and be, you know, totally out of it. Yep. In fact, he was back on his feet pretty quickly and then pulled off the charge, yeah. which happened at center ice. So there, he wasn't really hurt. I mean, he was going pretty hard when the time came. Yeah, and, so uh, he, he gets up, he charges it right across the ice and hits Gulakas from behind. And uh, Gulakas had no idea he was coming because he was playing the puck. At the, or actually, he wasn't playing the puck. He just got done playing the puck. And then in the image you can see behind us, the puck is way over to the left in the top, mm -hmm. and uh, Freder hits Gulakas here. Not like it was completely intentional. Oh. Like, it should, like well, he wasn't even playing hockey anymore because yeah. he was skating at him. He'd thrown his stick. Good yeah. thing. Good thing he did. He also uh, tossed his gloves just before he, you know, uh, tackled him. Yeah. So he was just there to lay out some whoop ass on Gulakas. He just, he just wanted some revenge. <clears throat> and Gulakas fell down. And is turning, you know, kind of on his back, and then he puts his feet out. Yeah, he's just like, okay, what? It's, know, just, it's just to uh, try human to nature. Protect just to, himself, yeah. I guess. Uh, and he's no saint. No, he's no, he's and, no and saint. I've got some stats on that. But uh, is that where he gets the kicking? He's yeah, he's, he <clears> protects <throat> himself because Fred is coming on top of him. He's going to jump on him, and it's just mm. human nature. I think just just to, he didn't he wasn't trying to kick him. I don't think he was just trying to like block him. I guess. Yeah. Uh, so his skate kind of went up a against him. You can watch the video. I'll link it down in the description or in the comments. Uh, that'll definitely help if, if obviously, if you watch the vid what happened first and then come back to this. But mm -hmm. um, I, I, I don't think it was an intentional kick or anything like that, but I do understand even if it wasn't intentional, it is dangerous. So there has to be some uh, repercussions there. Mm -hmm. There's a big debate going on in the EIHL right now about having only one ref in the ice. Yeah, they, some people want to go to the four-man. And they the did have it at one time. Yep. And a couple of years back, I think to save money, they went back to one ref and two linesmen. Hmm. And the knock on that is one ref can't see, he doesn't have 360 degree vision, can't see everything. Yeah. And I'm used to watching hockey with one ref. I'm still, you know, when I see two refs, I'm still, yeah, it is. You know, it oh, is a, a new strange. thing for me, you know, and it's, well, it's probably been, what, 15 years now, but... It's a fairly new thing. I definitely remember there only being one ref. Oh, like, yeah. That wasn't, it, yeah. It was long ago, but it wasn't that long ago. And things got missed. And even now with two refs, as we've seen in spades, things still get missed. Yep. Two refs aren't going to solve the problem, all the problem, but they'll probably help. Now, there's a history here with both players. Like prior suspensions? Yes. Does Gulakas well, have more suspensions than Freder? Uh, no. Or, oh, sorry. Yes, Gulakas has uh, more penalty trouble. I'll just put it that way. I, I'm not going to get into you know, suspensions. F this is not Freder's nature. Freder's a good guy, okay. generally speaking. When he played, uh, he, he's been playing, I think this is his fourth year with Sheffield. He's typically, he gets a two-minute penalty every two games, you know. So if he plays 35 or 40 games, he usually has, okay, you know. So, so he just lost his cool and just... He just lost his cool, but there's a history this season so far. This is the fifth time he's been hit from behind. Wow. It from the same, in, from in this season. Belfast? Or Twice before by Gulakis. Oh. Okay. And some of these aren't getting called. Now, in all four times when he got hit from behind, Sheffield appealed to the league, and, and the league added suspensions or infractions or, or penalty to the hit. Okay. Each of those four times. So there, there has been justice done, but not necessarily right at the time it's happening and not necessarily on the ice. Okay. So you've got Freder, <clears throat> who's probably been hit a few times too many in his view, gets hit again. He probably looks around long enough to see if anyone's, and one referee has his arm up and probably didn't at the time. Mm. And he said, well, I'm going to call my own penalty here and I'm going to punish this guy. And then he, he charges at him and tackles him. And that's totally out of character for him. Well, even re even with that being said, the fact that Gulak has got three games based mm -hmm. on what happened in the game, and Freder only got one, I think is a joke. I, I think it's. I think it, to be honest, it should be the other way around because at, at least when Gulak has hit Freder, Freder had the puck. Gulak was in the middle of the ice, and Freder just came out of nowhere, yeah. Terminator style, and just yeah. ganged up, like just literally hit him from behind. That's that plays that is, should not be in hockey in any league. No. 
It, so it's completely out of bounds, and it's worse than the penalty that he got. Like he should have got more. Yeah. Galakas, you know, this is a lot by reputation, right? Mm -hmm. If someone came up behind, uh, I don't know, a player that's known to be a, a pretty, you know, mild-mannered player. Uh, let's say Thomas Plakanix from Montreal. Sure. Someone comes up behind Thomas Plakanix from Montreal and does something to him, and Plakanix goes crazy and loses his nut. And the guy he's going after is Brad Marchand, let's say. Okay. Right? And for that one time only, Marchand is the victim. Hmm. But the NHL is so used to giving this guy suspensions and watching him that they just can't get past that, you know? And I think that's a bit of what's happening here. Gulakis. That's why I wanted to know if he had any prior suspensions. Well, I don't know about suspensions, but I'll show you this. This year, in 11 games so far, Gulakis has 105 penalty minutes. Wow. So this a... year. Um, his last year, he played 46 games and had over 100 penalty minutes in those 46 games. So he's getting, you know, at least a, a penalty a game. Mm. You know who he played for last year? Uh, no. How about the Swamp Rabbits? I'm no way. You not. He played for the Swamp Rabbits for 46 games. In the, uh, yeah. <laughs> in the, the ECHL. ECHL. In the ECHL. Um, and he's been around. He's, he's from Montreal originally. These are both Canadian boys, so we kind of can weigh in on that a little bit. We know the culture here. Mm. He's, Galakis is from Montreal, and uh, Fred is from a small town in Ontario called Harrow, Ontario. Uh, Fred is 35. Galakis is in his late 20s. He's 27 or 28 years old. So these guys are in different places. Mm. Um, <clears throat> Galakis has a reputation and has had for all of the playing that he's done uh, as being you know, rough and tumble and a bit of a penalty guy. That doesn't mean he can't produce. Galakis is number four in his team in scoring this year. Oh. Fred is number three on his team. So he's, you know, these are both guys that are assets to the team, you know, at least on the score sheet. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so I think it's safe to say Galakis has the worst reputation of the two. And Fred might be a favored person on the team because, you know, he has produced. He's not known to be a crazy guy. And he went crazy here in the moment. Uh, but that doesn't excuse what he did. So my opinion is, if he has if he has prior suspensions or, or bans or whatever you call them in the EIHL, uh, he should have got the three games, I guess. If he didn't, then I don't think that this is right, because in the NHL <laughs> there's a flag. I, flag I got right. him. Good. Um, in the NHL, there's a thing called a repeat offender, and you get suspended more games the more you do stuff. Or the, like if you hit someone from behind and you get a game. And then five games later, he hits someone else from behind. You'll get three games, and after that, it'll be seven games, and mm -hmm. after that, it'll be twenty games. <clears throat> this had shades of when Dennis Weidman hit. I think it was Dennis Weidman. Someone, someone Weidman in the NHL hit the linesman from behind. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. Or the ref, or the linesman, or whatever. A couple of years ago, if you're from the EIHL and you're watching this video, go on YouTube and look up Weidman hits ref. Uh, it's it's insane. And I think he got something like 22 games or 23 games. That was significant. And he tried to appeal it and... Uh, Forget it. Anyways, yeah. it, it kind of had shades of that, except for it was on a player. Yeah. I think it was just completely from behind. Um, so yeah. I, I'm i disappointed that he didn't. He, he only got one game because something like that plays uh, no weight in hockey at all. There's, no. That should not be in the league. No. And other teams and fans of other teams all around the league who were watching this and paying attention to this incident, there, there's a lot of dissension here mm -hmm. with the uh, with the deep OPS. This uh, it's a one guy. It's not a committee. It's one guy. It's guy one guy. Simon Kirkham. One guy makes these decisions, and you know, it's it's not good enough. Interesting. So yeah. you're you're on a one ref system, and then mm -hmm. you're on a one player safety board yeah. person thing that's yeah. uh that's really unacceptable and if it is about money then that's unfortunate but uh you have to make sure that that stuff gets taken care of you should have a committee of people yeah but if you go back to the whole root of the problem probably adding that second ref back into the game yep um, will propel players less frequently to have to think they need to take the law into their own hands mm. on the ice um you know we got two bad plays here we got the original hit and then the subsequent hit they both need to be addressed. Um, they both have different floating levels of severity. Uh, I guess, you know, we are pretty much agreement here. Uh, Fredder, you know, if you go by reputation, it probably worked out the way it should. But if you go by what actually happened for getting people's reputations in the past, it's unbalanced. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think that uh, I think mm. it should be flopped. The games. I think Freder should get three, and Glocka should get one based on what happened on the ice. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's just a one man one man's yeah. opinion on YouTube. And I also heard. I don't know if this is true. That the owner of the Sheffield Steelers, the team that Freder plays for, is also the owner of the EIH, EIHL. That's just some conspiracy stuff, maybe. Even uh. if it's even if it's true, it's still conspiracy stuff. That mm -hmm. that's why Freder only got one game. But yeah. um, I, that's, I just thought I'd mention it because it's interesting. And, I, and yeah. again, I don't know if it's true. The good news here is, uh, while both plays had potential significant risk, neither player was hurt. Both players, you know, left the ice under their own power. Yep. I saw a video where Galakis is walking off, being escorted off by one of the linesmen, and he's not limping or he's not in any pain or distress. He's just walking off, like, again. You mm. know? And Freder, uh, clearly, when he was hit by Galakis, uh, he was able to pop up back again and lay out some smack here. So, so he was all right. Uh, so that's the good news. The rules are designed to keep players safe. And the rules are designed to promote fair play in hockey. Um, thankfully, the player safety part wasn't impacted on this one, the fair play part. That's going to be tougher for the league to have credibility if they have uh, these kinds of unexplainable decisions. Yep. Um, I think Gulakis <coughs> is um, a bad, rep rep bad representation of hockey uh, in this play specifically. I think Fred is a bad representation of hockey in this play. And I think that the whoever's running the EIHL as far as Department of Player Safety is a bad representation of how things should be done. Uh, so it's it just leaves the fan in in frustration, mm -hmm. whatever way you look. So uh, the fan loses here, really. Yeah, uh, it sucks. And we're neutral because we're not fans of either team. So we're not yeah. sitting there in Sheffield or sitting there in Belfast or wherever we are. Yeah. Um, you know the uh, the opinions we have are just based on our understanding of we the game. We have no horse in the race. <coughs> we have no, no favorite teams. We we looked at the logos once and that was it. That was it. That was it. Yeah. And I'm very interested in this league. And I'm really, you know, I don't want to be happy that there's news coming from this league, that kind of news. Yeah. But I think it's, I think it's awesome. It, it that does help give, get the exposure on oh, a league that man. needs exposure. Hockey in that area of the world needs to grow. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully maybe we can help it grow even just by making this video. Yeah. M majority of the fans on this channel, uh, probably 98% are North American fans and uh, who only really care about the NHL and maybe the AHL. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm hoping that a few of the North American fans made it this far in the video and uh, took part in the conversation, maybe in the comments to come, mm -hmm. and Oops. gave their opinions, and maybe they'll, maybe they'll watch a game or two in, in the EIHL if they can get, I'd love to. get their hands on if it. If I could get my hands on a, a feed, yeah. a, a decent feed that would be a good quality, I would definitely watch a game. Mm, we're going to have to get some merch from the EIHL. Yes. <laughs> Because we are a channel that uh, talks about uh, yeah. all teams. so All teams. And, you know, being <clears throat> with my roots in uh, Scotland, more on the uh, eastern side of Scotland, I mm. think that's more of the west. And I like the east. I might be more of a clan guy myself. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. We really appreciate it. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, hope you can hit the subscribe button and join us here for all kinds of hockey talk. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Adios.